Anxiety can run in the family, but a new study published in the latest American Journal of Psychiatry suggests therapy and parenting style changes may prevent anxiety in children whose parents suffer from an anxiety disorder. Here with the details are my guests, Dr. Desiree Shapiro, a psychiatrist at Rady Children's Hospital, and family therapist David Peters. And Dr. Shapiro, everyone gets anxious from time to time, including children. So how is an anxiety disorder different from normal anxiety in children? So all children experience anxiety. It's a normal part of development and it can even be helpful when you're studying for a test or trying to get somewhere on time. But when we start to get concerned about anxiety is when it becomes um, a problem in children's lives or adolescents' lives like when they're having trouble with school or at home or in social situations. Then we really want to encourage parents to seek out help and a possible evaluation. And, and David, you've seen uh, patients, your young patients with anxiety. Um, what are some of the symptoms like on a day-to-day -day basis for them? It depends upon the age of the child and it depends upon some family norms. For smaller children, they won't know it's anxiety. They'll say their stomach hurts or their head hurts or they just don't feel good. Uh, they might be sleepless or having nightmares or be tearful and not know why. Older children will say, well, I'm feeling anxious or I'm feeling really uncomfortable, mom and dad, and they'll talk about their feelings more. Uh, but they can also show irritability and school failures if they're having anxiety disorders. Now, research shows that anxiety can be a familial trait. So how do parents uh, actually contribute or do they contribute to increased anxiety in their children? Well, parents can contribute in a number of ways. They can be the cause of the anxiety in some situations if there's uh, poor parenting going on or if the parent is anxious themselves and doesn't know how to cope, they can be inadvertently projecting anxiety out toward the, ch the child and uh, the children will go along with the family norm. And Dr. Shapiro, that brings me to the treatment options for a childhood anxiety disorder. Let's say these other things are ruled out. What sort of the treatment is available for kids with anxiety disorder? So therapy is very effective for children and adolescents with anxiety disorders. We know that therapy can help children and adolescents learn about their thoughts, their feelings, and behaviors, and they can learn techniques and skills to handle and manage their anxiety. So we really start with therapy and other psychosocial interventions. And would you add to that? Are there other things that can be done, especially for kids? Sometimes uh, you can devise family interventions that the families can do at home, ways in which the family can have a quiet time, a meditation time together, a prayer time is sometimes good for families, or uh, a parents organizing play around the theme of whatever is making the child anxious so as to add laughter, add a little silliness to it. And uh, Dr. Shapiro, uh, let's say you're doing all those things, but are there child safe medications for uh, anxiety disorders? So we start with therapy first, and we always try to encourage parents and families to figure out what's going on with, with their child. And, and medications can be used. It's part of um, you know, the treatment plan for severe cases, but we really want to encourage a collaborative, comprehensive approach prior to going towards medications. Well, and, and one, one piece to that mm -hmm. is basically this new study, stress prevention. Mm -hmm. So how do you think parents can prevent their children from developing anxiety? Yeah, so we want to look towards early intervention, prevention, early recognition, Parents have an extraordinary role in their children's lives. So they're able to model healthy behaviors such as handling anxiety provoking situations well and teaching their kids to stay calm and even teaching them coping skills. So there's a lot that parents can do. And David, is there a particular skill that maybe if your child's just maybe mounting anxiety that you can do? Like, do you nudge them? Well, more than anything else, I teach my clients, uh, children as well as adults, just take time to breathe. If you can take five minutes to sit down and observe your breath, you can bring the anxiety level down by half at least, if not make it all go away. And what sort of resources are available, David, if a parent suspects their, their child's anxiety is getting worse? What are the steps? What should they do? Well, uh, frequently they can ask their pediatrician if the pediatrician knows a family therapist or a psychologist, a child psychologist, or these days, a lot of people find therapists on the internet. You can just dial up a little search and find local family therapists who specialize in children and adolescents. And you can look up their specialties also and read a little bit about how they treat them. So you can kind of pick on your own and then see if they're on your health insurance list. All right, well, we have a link to all the resources in San Diego on our website at kpbs.org. Therapist David Peters and Dr. Desiree Shapiro, thank you so much. Thank you. Good to be with you again.